Automating your business's vacation request workflow is a breeze with Gravity Flow. In this video, we are going to take a look at adding a feedback and review loop to a vacation request workflow. If you have not seen our videos on creating a vacation request workflow and using the Gravity Flow vacation request extension, check out those videos first before continuing with this video. Both videos will be linked in the description. I'll start by navigating to the form settings for my vacation request form and selecting workflow. I'd like to set up a feedback loop that allows my manager, Megan, to revert my vacation request back to my workflow inbox so that the days requested off can be modified. To accomplish this goal, I'm going to add a new step to the workflow and name it Modify Dates. This workflow step will involve reverting the vacation request back to me, the employee who submitted it, and will require my input, so I'm going to set the step type to User Input. I'm going to assign this step to the user who submitted the vacation request, so I will choose the User Created By option. Please note that the User Created By option will only appear if the Require User to be Logged In setting is enabled from within that form settings. Next, I'm going to add the From, To, and Days Requested fields to the list of editable fields. These fields are what the employee will be able to modify if the manager reverts the request. I'll then enable the Highlight Editable Fields option and set it to Green Background so that it is clear what fields the user can modify after the request has been reverted. I can then configure the email that will be sent to my inbox if Megan chooses to revert the request back to me to modify the requested dates off. The last thing I will need to do before I save this step is set the Next Step option to Vacation Request, which will send my modified vacation request back to Megan, where she can approve the request, reject it, or revert it to the Modified Date step. I'll then select Update Step Settings to save everything. Next, I'll need to modify the Vacation Request step and set the Next Step Approved option to Workflow Complete, which will close our workflow loop once the vacation request is approved by Megan, the manager. Before I save my changes, I'll also enable the Revert to User Input step option and ensure it is set to Modified Dates, as well as set a note to be required if this step is reverted. These changes will give Megan a revert button that allows her to send the request back to me so that I can update the time I am requesting off, as well as requiring her to set a note explaining why she reverted my request. Now I'll save my changes and we can take a look at everything in action. I'm going to request two days off via the vacation request form. Megan will then receive an email notification that I have requested time off. She can then go to her workflow inbox and review my request. Next, Megan can choose to revert the request back to me and use the note field to provide an explanation. I'll then receive an email notifying me that I have a response within my workflow inbox. I can next go to my workflow inbox, see the note that Megan left on the timeline, and modify my time off based on the suggestion she provided in her note. Now, Megan can return to her workflow inbox and approve the modified request. I'll then receive an email letting me know that my request has been approved. If I go to the workflow status page, I can view the request to see the time I took off and even see my remaining vacation balance thanks to the vacation request extension. Gravity Flow and Gravity Forms streamline the vacation request process, but that's only the tip of the iceberg on everything you can do with them. So be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a video. Thanks for watching.